What's up guys, my name's Johnny Picks. Thank you for giving us the opportunity here. This is our very first video. Uh, I want to kind of introduce myself a little bit. So obviously I'm Johnny. Uh, I have a little bit of a background in kind of collecting and a little bit in reselling. I kind of uh, focus mainly on military, vintage, and uh, kind of gaming, I guess would be my three big ones. Um, I'm doing kind of a little bit of a fun challenge today at, here at Goodwill to see if I can get 40 bucks and either make my money back or maybe a little bit more. So let's see what we found and uh, hopefully we can get this all sold. So. All right, and we are back. So this is the, kind of the finds that we had here for 40 bucks here at our local Goodwill, doing a little bit of a challenge here. Uh, really scored, I think, here on a lot of the vintage glassware. I also had a couple toys that I'll kind of get into here. But uh, I spent 40 bucks. So it was like 41 some change uh, for all this. A lot of anchor wear. Uh, this is a French quiche pan. I'll throw the prices up here. Um, but pretty much everything was somewhere between 288 and uh, I think I gave like 488 or 588 for the ones with the lids, but uh, for instance, keep an eye out for these. These sell pretty well. Is the Amana Browning Skillet. Uh, a pretty vintage. They got a nice little house on there as well with the lid. One thing I've learned, learned a little bit as I kind of do all this is the colors kind of tell you a little bit of the rarity. Uh, I got a lot of the Fire King stuff here. This is some of the amber. I got a two quart amber and then a uh, one and a half quart, which I believe is that guy. Actually, it might be this guy. Oh, that's a nice little casserole pan. Nine inch, two quart. And I believe this is my fireware over here. Yep. I give 288 for these. I'll throw up the comps here. Uh, this fire truck caught my eye. The reason why it's uh, obviously pretty heavy duty, and obviously, anytime you flip anything over, you can see uh, Mattel 1979. So, it's a buck 88. Picked it up. I did notice the ladder on it. Uh, the ladder should actually go all the way out to here, but a little further. Um, so, this might be something. There is a couple uh, on eBay right now. Nothing really sold, so I'll probably either uh, end up giving that to a nephew or uh, maybe selling it here on the marketplace. Uh, other than that, we kind of hit a little bit here on the games. I've got kind of an eye for vintage. We got Blockhead here. I believe this is the uh, 1985 or 82 model. 82. Um, it's got like 18 of the 20 pieces. It was it was actually taped up when I uh, found it, so I didn't check it out in store. Um, something like that. All the pieces are in really condition, good condition that are there. So I'll probably just end up piecing that out. And uh, I only gave a buck 88 for it, so I'll be able to definitely get my money back there. Um, next here is this Millie's Born game, Millie Borns. Uh, I had found a couple comps there in the store. Um, that were, it looked like they were actually newer versions of the game uh, for actually pretty decent prices. Um, so I'll throw this one up here. This is the 1962 version of it. Pretty decent. And then this clue also caught my eye. All these games were buck eighty-eight. And uh, flip her over here. She looks to be pretty much complete. See if we can get a date on there. See where we at. Eh. I believe it was mid '80s, if I remember correctly. I'll have to find it here. All right, I found it, it was '96. Excuse me, mid '90s. Uh, but pretty decent comps on this. Again, for a buck eighty-eight, I can always part it out or uh, you know sell the whole thing for a pretty decent uh, profit after shipping there. Uh, other than that, a couple uh, little things here. I found this Ping Golf shirt. Couldn't find an exact comp, but I found a couple other that were like it that were all uh, selling pretty decently for the sensor cools. And then I think the real win of the day here, I didn't know what this was. Um, now granted, I was born 98 here, so this might have a couple years on me. I gave two or 288 for it, but if you can see it there, it says Bluebird Toys, Swindon, England, 1993. So I figured for three bucks, I'll take the risk on it. And uh, this is one of the neatest things I have found. So you break all these out here. Let me get them all set up here. So you think nothing crazy, right? Kind of cool, maybe a little toy might open up. Give me a sec. All right, got her all open up. Look at the detail on these things. So apparently I looked them up, they're called Mighty Max. And uh, it does take batteries. And look how intricate these things are. Apparently they all light up. They've got a bunch of different accessories. One thing I found cool, it's got a little life raft right here. This slides in and slides out. This is a little pocket version. I'm not sure exactly what this one is. But how neat. And for 
two, three bucks. I'll take the risk on that. All these little pieces come out as well, which I thought was pretty cool. And then also I had a couple of the figurines here too. And I've opened this up like two or three times and I swear I found a different little figurine each time. Uh, I'm not even sure where this goes yet, but some sort of little launcher. It looks like I am missing maybe a few pieces, um, but I mean a sealed inbox version is just sold for like three, four hundred bucks. So for uh, 288 I'll definitely take the risk on it. But other than that, I think we had a pretty good find here uh, between everything. Hopefully we can uh, get it all sold here and do it again. Other than that, it's Johnny Picks. You guys have a great day. See ya.